Welcome back for another episode of Storytime with Dr. Brown. Let's dig right back into the book and look into history. Today, we're actually going to look at the first great American physician, and that is Benjamin Rush. The professional, moral, and physical courage of Dr. Rush was taxed to exhaustion during the 1793 yellow fever epidemic in Philadelphia, which was the capital at that time of the new United States of America. Those re residents who could fled. Those who could not were decimated by disease. Horror and hysteria reigned. Hundreds died daily, but Dr. Rush stayed, cared for his patients, personally survived two of the attacks of yellow fever. He was a patriot, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, leader in the country's first medical school. He became the first great physician in the United States of America. For leadership in medicine, as well as most other daily activities, mid 18th century British colonists in North America looked overseas to the homeland Physicians of the New World, like their brethren in the Old World, practiced medicine under confusing philosophies in transition between medieval and modern. While reluctant to relinquish adherence to traditions and systems centuries old, they had to grapple with new problems posed by the raw new land. Without anyone to fall back upon, physicians had to compare new experiences with old teachings, pioneer new therapeutic regimens based on quick bedside decisions. The man who contributed most to the systemization and progress of medicine in the American states and who led the way to founding a body of medicine independent from that of Europe was Benjamin Rush. Without question, Dr. Rush was the most striking, the most impressive, and the most controversial figure in Northern American medicine of his day. Brilliant and well-educated, he was a restless soul, impatient and impulsive, quick to make decisions and quick to defend them against all disagreement. Though domineering as a teacher, his magnetic personality profoundly influenced students. Though bitter and acrimonious in attacks upon contemporary physicians or in defense of his own methods, he had a way of gaining the confidence of his patients and of comforting them. In times of great danger, when other physicians fled, Rush had the courage to remain with his patients. He was never too tired or too busy to try to care for them. Nor did he confine his attention solely to medicine. He was interested in every phase of life. He wrote and published on many subjects. A natural reformer, he advocated for abolition of slavery and penal reform, better general education and better sanitary systems. One of the first to advocate for preventative medicine, he was an ardent proponent of inoculation and later of vaccination against smallpox. His work on mental illnesses was the standard for half a century. Rush wrote illuminatingly on causes and treatment of many diseases, and he pleaded for simplification of medical nomenclature and for elimination of all but a few key drugs. He urged medical students to acquire practical knowledge of veterinary medicine chief exponent of in his time of bloodletting as a therapeutic measure, Rush wrote, shed more blood than any general in history. So what we see for the first time in America, a physician dedicated to the sole purpose of the care for his patients in treating those for yellow fever with which decimated the population. He never left their side. This is a characteristic that he passed on to other generations in his teachings and his model as a physician. Just as 
those before him. He passed on and his enduring legacy is something that every, everyone, every countryman should appreciate just as we would for Thomas Jefferson or George Washington or Benjamin Franklin. We don't hear about Benjamin Rush, but he's there, he's always been there, and he is the spirit of what medicine is and should be in the United States of America. Thanks for joining this episode. Look forward to having you come back soon. And if you happen to find any of this interesting, or more importantly, if you want to collaborate, check out the link below so that you can send us your comments, any stories you may have, anything. You know, we're happy to entertain it. And uh, this is really about us going on a journey together.